In 2021, the winner of the Turnip Prize was a stuffed toy panda labeled Mick as a funny take on the word pandemic. The award is given to the person who created a bad piece of artwork by putting in the least amount of effort. The shortlist for this year's award has now been announced and some have chosen to pay tribute to Queen Elizabeth's death and the conflict in Ukraine. According to organizer Trevor Predo from the New Inn in Wedmore, Somerset, there were 69 entries this year. The award began in 1999, following the exhibition at the Tate Gallery by Tracy Emin of The Unmade Bed. Last year, there were 96 entries and the winner clearly, had, what it takes to be recognized in modern art circles and will be remembered in art history for no time at all, Mr. Predo said. He described the entries from people who have created something that they perceive to be crap art using the least amount of effort possible. An R.I.P. Elizabeth the 2 ND piece of artwork is one of the 69 entries and is a torn second-class stamp which was created by Charlie King. Another Queen Elizabeth-related artwork came in the form of a pool cue with two jumpers attached by Lion State called, Cue Jumpers following the controversial cue jumping by celebrities and politicians to see the Queen lying in state. Another finalist piece is a tribute to the conflict in Ukraine entitled Ukraine which is a yellow crane carrying a sprig of yew created by Ivor Bolsh oily pear. Mr. Predo said, the world famous turnip prize has been running for 24 years. This year we have received 69 entries. We have ordered a second skip. The winner of the competition will be presented with a turnip nailed to a wooden base. The winner of the 2022 Turnip Prize will be announced online by the Inn on December 7. Other entries this year include a reel of red insulation tape by Gov and X Files which is made up of two files crossed over each other. Last year, the organizer said that the artists had created far better works than the Tate Britain Gallery could ever wish to exhibit.